Welcome everyone to our prayer devotion. I have a little nasal thing. I had just gotten over uh, COVID and uh, fortunately it was not very difficult to go through. It was just more annoying. i have been sicker with other things like the flu, but I still got a nasal thing to me. But what I want to talk about today in our devotion is Jesus's half-brother, James. And in a sense, he had the same kind of journey that all of us had who did not know Jesus Christ from a young age and discovered him later on in our lives. Now, he was brought up in the family. Uh, Mary was his mother and uh, Joseph presumably was their father. And where Jesus Christ is the Son of God through the Holy Spirit. And yet, as he grew up and went out and did his ministry, James and Jude and the other brothers actually thought he was beside himself. There was something wrong with him. And at one point, they tried to pull him out of a house and uh, the people say, you know, your brethren outside. And he says, who is my brethren? It's those who sit here and then listen to me. Well, we, we get in second, uh, 1 Corinthians fifteen seven is this statement. And after that was seen of James and all of the apostles. This is talking about Jesus' resurrection. He was seen by James and all of the apostles. And I guess at that point, James realizes Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ is my Lord and my God. So next, he goes becomes a leader with the apostles of the church. And he writes a letter that we're going to read a couple of verses from today. And that letter, in the second verse, says, My brethren, count it all a joy when you fall into diverse temptations. When you look at James, it's for a very mature outlook. You know, when you first get saved and you have persecutions, they seem so hard and so bad. But 30 and 40 years later uh, in your life, you don't even see them as persecutions any longer if you have the right mindset. I remember somebody one time saying to me, a good Christian man, that he asked me, what kind of trials are you going through? And I basically said, I don't have any persecution. God has been blessing me. I don't see any persecutions in my life. And of course, I've had things. There were things with my, my children. There were things, people rejecting me. But there had come a point in my life where all of a sudden I realized that I was counting these as a joy, these trials I was going through. And without knowing this, I knew this second, the third verse here, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. And in verse four, but let patience have a perfect work that you may be perfect, entire, wanting nothing. I have seen some Christians who suffer so much. It's not persecution. It's the lot was cast into their lap and God's going to help them disperse it. And I wonder why they suffer so much more. Uh, it's because they're better Christians. Actually, that's what this one man said to me. You're not a good Christian then. Man, I did some soul searching and saying, you know, no, I, you know, over time, it, it, it came to me. Hear what it says in James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. You see, when you see the latter end of the tribulation that you're going through, that you're going to develop and you're going to be a better Christian, guess what? It's not persecution anymore. You count it all a joy. I hope that if you're going through a persecution, you're waiting the outcome of what's going to come out of it. And sometimes there are people sick around you and different things like that that cause a burden upon you. But we know everyone is going to die in this life. And for us to, God puts these things in order to build us in the time frame. He puts us around these people 
to be brought down a little and be built up a little. So I hope this devotional is encouraging to you. And until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease. Amen.